and welcome to AMHQ Weekend. It is Sunday, July 10th, 2016. I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf, and holy shnikes, we've got meteorologist Alex Wilson with us. Yes. Good times. You ready? Right? Absolutely, boss. Ready to do this? Well, That's our secret to... handshake. Yeah, it was good time. Just it adapt. Was. We do have some crazy weather out there. Oh, crazy it's, stuff. I, I only wake up for crazy. That's, That's why when they told me you were working, I was like, this is perfect. I'm coming in. But we, you know, we've also got storms, heat, we do. everything in between, as we say in the legal biz, on the docket. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> on the docket, the two big things we're keeping an eye on will be the storms that she was talking about, and obviously the heat. Uh, the full yeah, because it's 4 o'clock in the morning there, and it's 80 degrees. It seems diabolically wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I feel like I want an extra coat of deodorant just to talk about it, frankly. <laughs> yeah, no, a mental deodorant, too. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. We have scattered showers and storms that could fire up across the south. Uh, humid, yes, but you know what? We really could use some of the rain in the Tennessee Valley. Nashville is uh, with the 90 degrees, but look at that. Uh, chance of severe storms in right. the northern plains. Yeah, we are going to be talking about that. More fire risk as mm -hmm. well for parts of the southwest. We'll talk uh, about that, too. You're right about that. D.C. checking in with 88 degrees. We're going to check in with Minneapolis. To the week for places like Minneapolis. It, we've had busy storms over the weekend here in the southeast. This is yesterday's storm reports. Take a look at this 20 reports of hail, but almost 60 reports of thunderstorm wind damage. So wind definitely the theme of the storms yesterday. And we're going to be watching for more storms out there today. Many of the same areas that have already dealt with the storms get them once again. So scattered thunderstorms from parts of the Carolinas all the way over towards eastern Texas. There's that stalled front. We've got that moisture in play out over that. A disturbance riding along that stalled front will help to uh, add an extra oomph, get a little extra lift going, get us uh, see some more thunderstorms. There's that mid-level disturbance. And of course, uh, that's stationary front is really not moving out there right now. We've got a flash flood warning up into the northeastern part of Mississippi. A few thunderstorms, lightning strikes heading towards the Jackson area. Notice one in western uh, Tennessee as well. Here's the forecast through the afternoon. The sun comes up. We get that daytime heating going and really during the afternoon hours is when we expect to see most of the action across parts of the southeast. Notice by one, two o'clock we're watching the storms move from Mississippi into Alabama, but notice things firing up into Georgia as well as we go into later parts of today. Once we get to the evening hours, once again, a lot of that activity should die down. Tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms for Mississippi, for Alabama, and again for Georgia and the Carolinas. So many of the same spots. This is good news, though. If we can get a few rounds of heavy rain, we would love to see it. We have extreme drought into parts of South Carolina, Georgia, getting up into uh, far southern parts of Tennessee and that northeast corner of Alabama. Reynolds? HQ weekend, it continues. We talk a lot more about how your kids, you should get, they're thinking you get your kids and your pets out of the car. Course. Absolutely. Yeah. Good advice. And, you know, once they're safe, yeah. items you leave behind could get hit hard by the oh, Over to you, Alex. All right, I'll take it. Hey, yeah. let's get into your seven-day forecast so you know what to expect. You know, it's Sunday. You're waking up and you're going, all right, what, what's in store for next weekend? We got that covered. First, got to get you through today, of course, watching severe across the northern tier. Rain showers, thunderstorms into parts of the southeast, also up into the northwest. Tomorrow, uh, could see severe weather all the way from the U.S.-Canada border down into parts of Kansas and Missouri. So severe threat will be elevated into the week. Now, Tuesday, severe weather through Wisconsin and Iowa, northern Illinois. Notice the temps starting to heat up across the east, west, fairly dry. We're watching for the fire danger across parts of the southwest, although we will see more wet weather up towards places like Oregon and Washington State. Wednesday, notice across the eastern half of the country, we've got scattered rain, some thunderstorms as well. Thursday, a little more filled in look all the way from the northeast down into Florida. That's where we could see showers and storms staying fairly dry across the west. Now Friday, we've got wet weather for the east, also the north central part of the country, but notice out west dry with 70s for San Francisco and Los Angeles. We take you into Saturday where we've got rain and storms along the Gulf Coast up into the Midwest, 100 degrees in Dallas. It has been hot there and it is going to stay hot into next weekend.